let me teach you something that i do in the night sometimes don't just worship god by lying down on the ground <clears throat> one of the ways that you worship god is to worship him in the presence of what wants your worship it's a powerful mystery i don't just worship god alone like that sometimes i carry every a representation of everything that looks like accolades we all worship together whatever wants my worship must join me in worshiping god that is one of the ways to overcome the temptation of worshiping things so if it is your wallet i'm not saying idolize it your id card your promotion letter don't lie down and leave it on the table lie down with it lord this is what you have done for me and someone is calling you and saying you are now the ceo tell them wait but you are wasting time this is how i became the ceo please can i tell you this let me give you an assignment by god every home and every individual try to take at least a day in this week if you can't do it with your family do it alone this busy busy hustling going up and down trying to do this you sit down in someone the front of someone's office from morning till night and then they drive you again come back listen 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 sometimes we need to go back and just worship we are a people of prayer but we must also be a people of worship it is not just prayer alone learn worship if you can't sing let something sing for you that's the importance of technology give technology the assignment to sing for you and join you as you worship your maker and you bow before him and say lord it is because of you i am here and while you are saying it your wallet is hearing your atm is hearing you force them to join in that worship and god says this is for me now let me do for you what you cannot do for yourself you are done with that worship you pick up your phone and see missed calls and text messages and you are wondering this man i've been trying to call believe what i'm teaching you i will not waste your time this night these are these are mysteries you want to command results that will preach to a territory next sunday's miracle service people are coming with all kinds of burdens i'm not a herbalist how in the world do you think you are going to touch people and pray from here and people all over the world get healed get blessed let me tell you after i'm done praying this ground is a blessing you roll there and say oh god who but you is able to heal and bless and help and lift and in that atmosphere of worship that shekinah just comes to mantle you and it's like electricity from head to toe and head to toe and there are all kinds of impartations yours is just to stay there you come out of that atmosphere the only thing that comes from you is fire from head to toe preachers i'm not i'm not you can't sit down and watch a movie by morning and quickly just get up and take your bath and come for a miracle service and say, after all is jesus doing it did you tell him you know he's the one doing it i will lay down my idols and thrones i have made and all that has taken my heart lord i will bow to you to no other god but you we have to rush please sit down key number one that has stopped believers 
from experiencing the mighty hand of God over dependence on the strength of the flesh. If most people will pray and study their Bible and worship one-tenth with one-tenth of the passion they used to run around humans for help, they will not be in the same position there. Can I tell you? Everything you get minus God will kill you. No matter how important it is to you, if you have to drop God to get it, it's only a matter of time. Yeshua Hamashiach Komina Nakane Yeshua Hamashiach Komina Nakane Everything belongs to you. Belongs to you. Fathers, don't go to your house and bully your wives and children and say, listen, I built this house. If I were stupid, this house would not be built. God says, ah, okay, maintain it. Hmm. Children, I'm the one taking care of the parents. Don't talk to me anyhow. It's my money. I can stop sponsoring you. And you wake up by morning and that hand that you used to lift against your parents because of what you are giving does not lift again. And God says, heal yourself. There is nothing as ugly as self-righteousness. Trying to believe that it is just, it is just by merit. It is true that there is a price for these dimensions. But can I tell you the truth? We have to let the world know. You see the regions that have rejected Jesus for technology. This is not the first time men are rejecting Jesus for other things. They rejected Jesus and chose Barabbas. If people can reject Jesus and choose crime, only God knows what else they can reject him for. Crucify him, they said. Give us Barabbas. We know he's a thief, but we choose him to Jesus. People have chosen technology to Jesus. People have chosen education to Jesus. People have chosen the philosophies of men to Jesus. And you see the catastrophe that is happening around the world today. Because by the strength of man shall no man prevail. This earth is old. Everybody is a tenant. Some people came and passed for us to be here. They passed and they left their lessons of wisdom or foolishness. They left it behind. There is the God who is the monarch of the universe. We must return back to acknowledging Jesus publicly, directly. Number two. What is the second reason why believers are not able to experience mighty works? Remember what we are dealing with. The witness of mighty works. That when you want to command salvation over territories, there needs to be levels of results from your life. And that the first reason why we do not have the mighty works that can witness, can preach to the territory, is because of over-dependence on the strength of the flesh. You go and read about your country. Someone can be in his room just crying and say, Lord, this is not self-condemnation. I hope you understand what I'm teaching you. Yes. Carry everything. When, go and learn the mystery of the worship of the elders, the 24 elders. Did they have to remove their crowns to worship? Why didn't they worship with their crowns? I thought the most important part of worship is your knees. Go and learn from them. Your knees are useless until your crown is on the ground. Many of us are kneeling down with our crown. And God is saying, so who is king now?
we pray that God will raise extremely successful people who will teach the nations dependence that when people are asking you and say how did you build this thing you can tell them all the principles and then wrap up by saying can I tell you there are gaps in this equation that even me I don't know the answer I just know that one plus one was there wisdom plus divine direction plus relationships plus diligence plus discipline plus God equal to my answer many times people try to ask me the secrets of this the secrets of that and I share with them principles I share with you principles but from the beginning to the end of my sharing I can tell you that there are gaps in our knowledge that only the size of God can fill. Preacher, you will not build a church just by principles. You can be the most sincere person with character and integrity and nobody will still come to your church. You can preach truth, heaven, hell, rapture, doctrine with soundness of scripture and remain there as if God did not call you. I am undone before your glorious majesty. I cast my crown before the highest royalty. I am undone before your glorious majesty. You're the King of kings and lords of lord you are the king you are the lord your royal majesty listen ordinarily i would not get up in the night but because of something that entered me now i can wake up 1 a.m on the dot without alarm something wakes you what is that something you see that and he begins to move you and speak to you and does something to your ears washes your eyes with eye salve and you begin to understand the things of the spirit listen brothers and sisters if this is not captured in your experience no matter what song you sing you are not worshiping a worshiper is not a musician a worshiper is not a singer a worshiper is one who understands the dynamics of hosting god if you cannot do that you are not a worshiper singing is only a spiritual instrument to us to help you ascend that ladder but much more than that the foundation of true worship is a the willingness to die to get to that realm called galatians 2 20 that have been crucified with christ in experience a lot of people come before God, they worship for hours and go back and after service, they just say, ah, how was the service? Ah, powerful, that guy can sing. Go. And you watch the person, no pregnancy, you were not a bride, you certainly, it wasn't God that came there. Because if God comes, something must shift in your life. Look at what the Bible did with worship, that people can be worshiping and God is somewhere winning battles. The warfare dimension that when when the nation the nation of israel were surrounded by all kinds of enemies three kings arose the people began to sing and notice they didn't sing what they wanted the formula was given to them you are good and your mercy endures forever and all of a sudden the other side of worship is victory they were not seeing it but they knew something was happening and two enemies which foolish man goes for war with gold in his pocket are we together now and they began to kill themselves and the bible records that the last few helped to kill one another the last person killed himself and left the gold there and when they got there god said no 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 you can't walk twice if you've done one in my presence then the other one is done hmm. listen brothers and sisters i show you a route to hosting the glory of god and the power of god you can find out that when you worship truly at the end of it you will check the fibroid is gone nobody prayed something happened you see that when the fire comes the fire doesn't just burn you the fire burns everything that is not god whatever remains is the part of god in you 
when that fire comes it burns every pride it burns every dross that's why sometimes a song can be raised and you want to sing and the spirit says keep quiet that's your own worship you don't sing you just let your ears do the worship while you hear the words the spirit of god is ministering you want to join but there is a restraint and then you can keep quiet for 30 minutes afterwards the holy spirit will just lead you to take one song on your knees and that's where the miracle comes a living sacrifice i'm giving you a piece of my secret place this is what i do i don't just play songs and go before god and dance foolishly and off it and go out and no no i go with an intention to be changed with an intention lord i have come before you they call me apostle joshua selman but this is a worshiper coming before you and you stay until something begins to happen to you and then you see when you come out of that worship when people have exhausted a dimension in you you come out with a level of freshness another dimension you met him the pregnancy within you shows is an evidence and pe before people exhaust one dimension they lift up their heads and see another dimension ever fresh the secret is that secret place of the most high worship pastor our generation can pray but we don't understand worship are we together there is a dimension remember when you got into the second phase of the tabernacle you would meet the seven candlesticks the incense of prayer but much more than that there was a deeper realm so if all you do is just pray in tongues pray and ask oh god i've been warning you change my story i've i've told you this thing I'm, you know I'm, what kind of thing is this i'm i'm is it that i'm not your son and and we, we quarrel god we, we we make a mess of ourselves and when we finish we just come out and say amen and you you convince yourself that you touched heaven no most of most answered prayers is just the mercy of god because we are doing many wrong things if you learn to stay the staying power of worship you stay till he comes not till you are tired you see let me tell you the hardest thing for the flesh to do is to stay quiet in god's presence you try it you can stand before a shop that sells minerals for one hour and not be tired you are looking at minerals you take one you eat bones and stay but let a song of worship rise for five minutes your flesh is fighting itching i want to go the secret is to keep it there there is something that that experience is doing you see that that's why many of us don't hear god the flesh is busy there are so many things you just sit down there and one song and you are thinking ah, ah, i didn't send the sms will he send me that money at all you see that's the devil that's the devil is the devil he's trying to distract you for your name is holy and all of a sudden ah my wife what are we going to eat today can you really help from that position where you are it's just the flesh the flesh fights the presence of god let me tell you this satan you've heard me say it in my teachings many people say satan is afraid of the presence of god it's not true go and read your bible there's nothing like that satan has never been afraid of the presence of god jesus is fasting for 40 days and his fasting invites satan satan comes after 40 days he's standing before him you thought he would shake satan said ah jesus you mean you finished why don't you turn this this is he's talking the word is talking back satan is replying the word in the book of job the sons of god were together satan in that falling state still came have you considered my servant job you thought you would shake because of the glory no the presence of god doesn't scare satan it is the man that comes from the presence that scares satan it is not the presence of god it is the man that stays in that presence when you stay in that presence and come out there is something about that presence you carry there's something that it does to satan 
so the devil knows that if you stay in this worship it has a relationship with the job you are looking for so he said kai let me just go i'll come for tomorrow's service and you prolong something that should happen next week you make it december 2021 whereas worship one when you stay in the presence let me tell you when satan starts making you uncomfortable it's a sign that something is moving in the spirit he doesn't have that kind of time to waste worship has monetary value worship has destiny value when you know it you will never call it a waste they call her act of worship a waste of money it can be a waste of anything there are people who may think it's a waste of time you mean you just come to church to sing are we together worship is powerful let me tell you brothers and sisters and i admit to you there are many battles in my life that i did not even know they were battles because whilst worship was going on the fire of god was settling things up and down you need it for your business carry your business and enter the ark of worship with it don't leave it outside that's where your headache is coming from carry that business in your mind and say lord i can't worship you and my business is outside i bring it to lord we carry every challenge and everything and we bring before you and whilst you worship when the fire comes it comes on everything by monday someone calls you and says i've been looking for you and you know you didn't pray about that issue something happened in worship you believe what i'm telling you brothers and sisters if you believe this your life will surprise you you will live as if satan does not exist cheap victories this worry is why we don't worship some of you as you're standing here now you are saying oh lord let somebody let talk about my rent but let's be honest do you believe that by worrying rent will be paid the landlord is coming in any way in, in any case so it's better to stay in the presence of god and then you watch god arise now you don't need to know how it will happen this is god we are talking about when you bring god into any equation the calculation changes one anything plus god is equal to the answer he wants anything zero plus god can be equal to one million depending on what he desires when you bring god into the equation he changes everything is god speaking to us tonight because i want to take a few minutes and then we will worship god but i want us to worship intentionally so that while satan is telling you ah you know that this this you need to raise money where will you buy the new car now are you not tired of that sound instead of hearing the holy ghost you are hearing the, the sound of your car and you leave it there carry the car with you to the presence lord i'm worshiping you i bring all my pain and you roll that pain away brothers and sisters when the fire comes and the glory comes upon it you will rise up with a strategy call a b c and you can call ah, uncle god bless you say do you know i just had a dream about you yesterday um come and meet me in my office they know not neither will they understand the bible says they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course we reign in the kingdom this kingdom not just based on what we want based on the truths that we are aware of are we together now worship worship not just singing but an instrument of invoking god's presence if you can get god to show up where you are then you are safe if he can't show up you are in trouble no matter how you convince yourself that you are all right you are still in trouble my assignment as a person is to leave god face to face with my challenges and i know that i've entered rest because when god comes everything that does not look like him must give way he's an expert in that by my strength i do not have the power to win those battles but i know how to bring those battles to him i invoke his presence i call him and i love the yoruba people because you see down north we don't have too much um we our, our, our language cannot give us the kind of articulateness that we need but in the Yoruba language, it's amazing. You can call God. One word can mean many things. 
you're going to use that advantage tonight some of you have to call him a name you called the last time you called that name was when you were seven years remember it again it's the name you call to get admission <laughs> when you graduated you left the name because you are looking for job tonight you have to call that name again and say lord i remembered when i called that name you came and you showed up is god speaking to us tonight house of david hear me i can tell you this you know those of you who follow our ministry i had an encounter about a month or three weeks ago a month and i was just lying down pastor on my bed and my pillow i just saw written on it the lifter of men that's what i saw there usually god gives me messages by just writing it somewhere sometimes it just comes to my spirit but when god has to write it out then i take it serious the lifter of men and the anointing of the spirit is wherever his word is not the word written in scripture his speakings the present truth now so god begins to tell you look i am lifting men and my goodness the testimonies that have come of the sudden liftings it's okay if you already have an uncle it's just that god has not spoken to him you are closer to the miracle but the one that doesn't have any uncle anybody anywhere all of a sudden you hear that he got up with two three jobs where did it come from tonight i'm giving us a theme for worship the lifter of men we are worshiping tonight unto that end that lord you can change my story is it not the bible says, withhold not good to him that it is due when it is within your power do not say to him go today and come tomorrow many of you are in lagos here but you have not eaten the riches of this land someone will come with the mystery from somewhere and walk in the abundance of it i want you to be angry tonight as we worship there is something from god that you need that grace for lifting if that can land tonight in this place then it was profitable for you one victory after another pastor in my little life i've seen what god can do when when god gets up from his throne to bless you he zooms his attention on you you will fear god you won't just praise him you will fear him he will do it in a way that you say god what is this I, i'm lifting you not even you will stop me i have chosen jacob have i loved you have done something to me doesn't take so long for god to lift your business listen most people think men of god don't know anything about business you know when we talk like this uh, just keep your preaching there and let me what, what do you think ministry is what is a customer that god cannot bring are we together when you try it in the flesh and it does not work leave the flesh come to the altar of worship and say lord there's got to be a way I came tonight to provoke that spirit of lifting. Anything that is alive grows. My God is the lifter of men. I don't know about your God, but my God, many of you have come past this mountain long enough. The truth is, it's not like you are failing, but you know honestly, you have been at the same level for a long time. You can't give, you can't sow, because all you have is, is all hapa. There's got to be something in your life and my life. If I look at my life in two weeks, one month, there is no change. I will go for a retreat. Something is wrong. Some of us, no favor. Nobody has thought about you this year. It's a, it's a cause for concern. Don't say I'm doing well. Let me tell you this. Favor is not money. You can have money and not have men. Favor is when God provokes men to arise for you. David was in a cave called Adulam. David was a worshiper. Men arose and came to that cave. There's no need for packaging. They came as dirty as he was. Say, we have come to make you king. Who is showing up in your life to say, I must stand by you till you succeed? Nobody. We have tried human connections. We have tried everything. But tonight, I'm calling us to a realm 
where we can access sheep victory that as you are rolling on the floor you are not just rolling foolishly you are saying lord i'm rolling away my pain i'm tired of this i graduated 12 years no job am i cost what is this and all of a sudden god says this is for me let the fire come i would have given you a job but i see pride let the fire edit that pride now my glory comes and and then let's see who will not give you that job we work so hard that's why we don't give god the glory the way we walk we just say lord i praise you but the truth is we are not praising him we suffered so much for that breakthrough we just say i praise you just so that we don't feel guilty i'm sorry if i'm a bit harsh tonight but i just want to push you it's because i love you i want us to receive something pastor you will see the kinds of testimonies that will come out of house of david not not i was promoted that, that well it's a testimony but i'm talking of someone who says i was sitting down and someone was going abroad and said can you manage my company and you sit down and say no I, I i didn't go to school say that's not the issue can you answer a and b i saw you in a dream and the lord said you are the person there are testimonies that should be so strange that even a non-believer will say i'm going to your church i must go to your church whatever they are giving you in that church i want it to when your testimonies are not notable they open up for for unbelief persecution and all of that god in this season is lifting men house of david yes i have prayed this in my life i know this is where the anointing of the spirit is the bible says the sons of issachar they had an understanding of the time why is god lifting men of course we know this because the body of christ needs the requisite influence there are two ways to advance the kingdom one is evangelism the second is influence evangelism without influence will still keep the church victimized so god is accelerating this lifting there are there are systems where the church must stay and if you are to be promoted three years per lifting your life is too you will retire and never rise anywhere and god is saying i want to give you speed like i did to elijah the bible says elijah began to run and overtook the chariots of ahab lifting i believe this i'm, I'm preaching to myself as i'm talking to you i know god is the lifter of men as you worship him tonight don't let the devil intimidate you keep all your business papers one side and say lord if if it is true that you are the lifter of men show up for me show up but listen the fire must come and prune a lot of things because there are many of us we cannot rise the way we are now there is pride there is flesh there are all kinds of things that's why the fire precedes the glory so whilst you worship the fire of god will come for some of us god is going to be talking to you work on your character your prayer life god cannot lift you because your prayer life cannot accommodate the kind of persecution that will come at that lifting so his mercy will make him leave you at that level because if you are lifted you do not have the spiritual fortification to stand the attacks that come at that level so he will keep you down but then you receive of him tonight the spirit of prayer and supplication and he says now you can rise ah i like to hear testimonies of people that god changed their lives not be i don't care what the detail is but the fact that my god can pick people my god can pick people look at my life let me tell you if you don't believe god lifts people you will suffer in this life you will never give the glory to god take your eyes away from some of these vain human connections i've been calling my uncle he's not listening it is your uncle your savior the bible says vain is the help of man all blessings come from god it just passes through men when you want to make it from men you are in trouble already it's god himself that will fight you for giving his position to someone else please let me speak to us business people and those who want to rise in the position of influence finance and all of that tonight i want to call you to that realm are we together of worship where you can arise some of you here just like our brother here are worship ministers you see let me tell you the race is not to the swift 
the battle is not to the strong i have seen people who are not the best but they tapped into this mystery and even them they are wondering what am i doing here because everybody who is in this realm has a legitimate reason some of them is age some of them is academic qualification what am i doing in their midst and god said my grace since you knew that i can pick people i picked you and i brought you there enough of this this analog system of rising you will never give god glory that way no sir who has ever had this pastor that in one day a woman can give birth he said but as soon as zion travails they've never been to no one has said in your family at 27 a car a house who dash monkey banana you say hold on god says let me use you to prove a point that i am alpha i am omega i can do as i please because you see let me tell you something we're going to pray there are people who have pegged god at a dimension and created a theology of limitation that god can only bless someone after five years and so sometimes your spirit is telling you but god can accelerate my life but you you are you are you are being careful like elihu so you don't look like you are a small child you don't know anything god you can be sitting here today and by next week sunday not friday you will enter this church with tears and say pastor look at my life what happened if you don't believe this you will never see it never see it but if you believe it with me then i let's let's trust god tonight and say father it is true that you are lifting men in worship change my life hallelujah is god speaking to us lagos is a place of abundance lagos is a place of plenty lagos is a place of lifting many of you have tried every, even what was supposed to work well when it gets to you it scatters go to the place of worship that frustration will kill you is why many people don't come to church again pastor because they think at this church thing i'm tired I hope is Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Forever Yahweh, Yahweh. We look to Yahweh, Yahweh. Yahweh, Yahweh, we look to Yahweh, Yahweh, forever Yahweh, Yahweh. Let's do some little prayer. Hold hands with somebody all around you and begin to pray in the spirit. Let's challenge the spirit of unbelief. I know my God is able. I know my God is alive. I know my God is able. Come on, house of David. My God is alive. God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. My God is not a man that he should lie. He is not the son of man that he should repent. God is not a man that he should lie. Not the son of man that he should repent. Pray. Our eyes are on you, the author, the finisher of every ministry, every business, every career, every family. Pray. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. You are the lifter of men. 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 Hallelujah. <laughs> 
second prayer point hallelujah we are praying father let your fire from heaven fall and everything that does not reflect you in my life take it away are you ready to pray that prayer lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray there's nothing to be embarrassed about this is a threshing floor it's a place whereby his spirit is building us lord take away everything the weight that easily besets me take it away all that robs me from reflecting you the carnality the flesh the pride everything everything the lost take it by your fire let your fire come upon my life let your fire come upon my business let your fire come upon my ministry let your fire come upon everything everything make sure you are praying hallelujah hallelujah listen please take this prayer seriously god is changing your life i like you to pray and say lord i vow that in my lifting you will be glorified you see let me tell you hold on hold on hold on it's easy to say lord give me car give me tea give me bread but there are many of us you were tested with certain things and your heart went away from god and god says no it is profitable that i keep you here i like you to pray and say father for as long as i live my life my wealth my increase the ministry the anointing will bring you glory can you open your mouth and pray oh it's for your glory the millions and the billions is for your glory the influence is for your glory the open doors in ministry in life in business make sure you are praying for your glory hallelujah listen many years ago the lord spoke to me then i was nothing nobody knew joshua selman for anything and the lord told me something he said son if you will let men see me there is nothing i will not give you i thought it was a joke if you will let men see me there are many of us the reason why we may never rise to certain dimensions is because there is an obsession to be at the center stage I shared in Abel Kuta yesterday that everything that is glorious hides behind the veil. Are we together? When Rebecca was coming to meet her husband Isaac, as soon as she saw him, she covered herself because she was a woman of glory. When all of you is open to everybody, you are cheap. There is a part of you that must be behind the veil. Are we together? That obsession to be known is why many of us are not known. 
some of you may see us walk and come in ah the men of god and you just admire these things and your heart is already corrupted from the beginning there's nothing wrong with honor except that your your love for god and your desire to see his kingdom come must supersede your desire for fame listen carefully it's true there are so many people who have all it takes to rise but it's the hand of god keeping them there because their motives are so corrupt the love of god would dare not let them rise but if you can let the whole world see and know that there is nothing in this person all that i am is because of all that he is and god says you are doing this for me you have the opportunity to take everything and you say lord it's your soul and god says if that is the case then i'm ready to lift you to another dimension hallelujah pray one last prayer and then we'll worship for a few minutes i'll pray for you we'll be very brief we'll round off here now but i want you to pray this prayer and say father the challenges that stand before me that are frustrating my focus the focus that i need to give to my spiritual work could be financial could be academic could be family i bring them to the altar of worship tonight and i ask that your fire will fall on them lift your voice and pray i bring before you my pain i bring before you everything go ahead and pray i bring before you everything everything the bible says be anxious for nothing it says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says make your request known don't keep it silent make your request known lord if you arise for me in this area it will give me room to serve you if you arise for my husband my wife my church my business my ministry please help that woman